Welcome back to Educator.com's English Grammar Course. This lesson is on modifiers and their placement. Let's get started. All right, there are several kinds of modifiers in the English language sentence. We're going to begin with adjectives and adverbs, what they are and what they do. We're going to look at how to say what you mean, use the, make the correct choice between adverbs and adjectives, and how to tell the difference between good, bad, well, and badly, and how to use them correctly. We're going to look at comparisons, the comparative and superlative forms of adjectives, more and less. And we're going to look at double comparisons and the dreaded double negatives. Then finally, we're going to look at modifier placement. We're going to look at dangling modifiers, limiting modifiers, interrupter modifiers, and split infinitives. All right, adjectives and adverbs. As you probably remember from our lessons on adjectives and adverbs, they modify nouns and pronouns. They tell us which one, what kind, or how many, or how some, someone or something looks, smells, tastes, or feels. For example, the shopkeeper was helpful and friendly. Both of these modify shopkeeper. I'd like to try that burgundy loafer. Burgundy modifies loafer on the wire rack. Please, in size 8. Now what about adverbs? Well, as you may remember from our lesson on them, they modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. They are often formed by adding the suffix ly to an adjective, and they tell us where, when, how, and to what extent. We drifted slowly away. Both of these modify drifted. We drifted how slowly. We drifted where away. I will never eat here again. All of these things modify eat. I will, how will I eat? Never. Where will I eat? Here. When will I eat? Again. All right, say what you mean. Using adjectives and adverbs properly isn't just a matter of being grammatically correct. This isn't just about being proper, it's about being clear. Using one of them instead of the other can drastically change your meaning. For example, Ilka found the test easy. Ilka found the test easily. Now your problem here is the verb found. It can be an action verb, I look for something and I find it. It can also be a linking verb, indicating someone's opinion of something or the perception of it. So. If Ilka found the test easy, well, then it's a linking verb, and the test was simple. If Ilka found the test easily, found is an action verb, and she located it without having any difficulty. So, your choice of words determines your meaning. 